six hours, and I haven't even gotten one method done, and I feel so stupid. That used to be me. All those sleepless nights, imposter syndrome, and general incompetence. Like, why does coding look like English, but act like it's possessed? Why are there periods in the middle of sentences? Why do we separate things into objects and classes? That's just judgy. What on earth is a stack, and why is it always overflowing? You miss one semicolon, and your computer somehow throws a temper tantrum on a line that doesn't even exist. We've all been there, but now I stand before you today as a full-time software engineer because for me at least, coding has become a piece of cake. First, you figure out what you know, what you want to learn, and prepare your path to get there. If you're an absolute beginner, I always recommend starting with something like CS50 in which they teach you intro to programming using Scratch, for free, they build your foundations without overwhelming you. From there, you need to choose your direction. Python is a fantastic beginner-friendly language. It's usually people's first language in university. Plus, it's used heavily in AI and machine learning, which is essential to know nowadays. If you want to get started with Python, there's this free GitHub repository right here. It's called Practical Tutorials Project-Based Learning. And it's so nice that in any coding language that you want, it gives you excellent project ideas with a tutorial. So if you want to learn Python, Java, JavaScript, there are projects for you to do. It's completely free. You just got to start.